there's a lot to do. Plus, the boys are home from school and they need feeding too. OK, well, there we are. Pasta for Flavio. OK, that's, uh, there we are. That's the pasta for you. Look, Daddy's doing it. OK? <laughs> OK. OK, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thankfully, Dora steps in as a babysitter, and Giancarlo can finally get stuck in. But the shortage of oven space in this kitchen now claims another victim. The panna cotta has to take its chance on the stove. And uh, this is uh, not working at all. The water has bubbled up and got into the mould. Ah! Oh. Ruined the panna cotta. We got no sweet tonight because the sweet is being spoiled by the water I came through. Oh. Because uh, we got no space in the oven. But, you know, Although Giancarlo has a lot to do, the students are not. still keen to learn. How do you know when it's the right amount? Well, uh, you no, when it, no when you look, stir it. Can you see it is very hard now? Yeah. When you stir it, don't go just all the time one way. Don't. You know, that's nice if you do that. But well, you can feel it's hard. If you do it later, when it's cooked, you can feel the grain. They want to make up for their earlier bread failure. Yeah. Good enough? Good enough, Carl? John Carla? Looks like mine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. They are also keen to point out that Giancarlo is now running very late with dinner. I believe it was 8.30. I think 10 minutes late. Yes, I'm going to show you about the result. Otherwise, I would have been well on time. Oh, I really think that we've got people here who should be on time. What do you think, Diane? I think she's right. Forty minutes late, the guests are finally ushered in. With a party in full swing in the restaurant, Giancarlo is happy in the kitchen. At the end of the week, Phil is one student who has a regret. Not spending enough time in the kitchen, quite frankly. Personally, would have, would have liked to have had more instruction time and less uh, cultural time. It's been a special week for Karin, an old friend of Giancarlo and Katie. To me, it wasn't just the cooking coming this week. It was being with them, being back in Tuscany from the, when we were here for the wedding. We just fell in love with the area. And for her friend, Wendy. I've taken away a taste of Tuscany. I've just loved the whole experience. I've made a lot of nice friends. For me, the difference is that I spend a lot of time on my own once the kids are at school. I have a lot of hours where I don't speak to other adults. So for me, the hard part's actually been the constant adults' company, which has been brilliant, but I found really tiring. For Lorna and Beryl, it's been about much more than just cooking. Because we are black, myself and Beryl, and you know, we're mixing with, um, with English, we mix with, um, with Italians. I have a feel, a different, because everybody treats us, we are like, everybody's the same. You know, nobody pass and, and never say hi. It definitely makes me feel at home. And it's so sad that we are leaving tomorrow, but what can we do? I'm hoping to come again, if I had the opportunity. <laughs> The Tuscan cookery school has finally come to an end, and to Giancarlo, it has meant a lot. To try something out of this magnitude, as far as I'm concerned, has been the most exciting, the most exhilarating, the most learning curve of my whole entire life. <laughs> as the Caldeses bask in the limelight, there's also recognition for the unsung heroes. Presents for Nello and Livia, who have brought so much to the school. And a photo opportunity for Luciano and the rest of the hard-working hotel staff.